What's up, y'all? I wanted to share this video of how I went from this 2018 vision board to my 2019 vision board. If you haven't seen my video on all the crazy, beautiful things that happen as a result of me creating this vision board, please click the video link at the top right corner or in the description box so you can catch that. But please enjoy my very long process of creating this year's vision board. I took my time, I got it right, and I just wanted to show you guys that you know this process isn't linear. You want to take your time. You want to put things on there that really move you. You want to be intentional. You want to print things out if you can't find them in magazines. You want it to be the very best that it can be so that you can be the very best you can be. So, enjoy. Welcome to my humble abode. Just kidding. <laughs> We're cleansing scarly space so we can take out any negative vibes. Before we do our vision board, we're able to get into, get in tune. And then we're gonna reintroduce with Palo Santo. It's a big, this is a big tip. Palo Santo keeps energy in and does it cleanse energy, like sage or other herbs do. So don't just use Palo Santo, definitely recommend smudging and staging your space first. And then Trick, a little trick that I do. You know when you make purchases and they tell you like, oh, buy this and we'll give you like a, a year's worth of L magazines. I do that and I just hoard the whole year. So like all these L magazines, the New York magazine, I got a whole six months worth of New York magazines for like or like ten. I was like something for the cheap, but I always do that because I know that the vision board is coming. Carly's first vision board, how do you feel? Great. You want to talk about it? No. So first of all, <laughs> she put it together and she forgot to put a picture of herself, so this is what we're going with, okay? But I think it's beautiful. I think she has like a very Instagram aesthetic looking board. Bitch. Talk about it. It's my glow up. My glow up. 
memorable moments. Um, a lot of travel. LA for sure. Um, yeah, a lot of travel. And then this is my favorite one. I feel very sure of where I am. I feel like you just have to always be sure. Even if it's you're not in the best place. Personal growth right in the center. Perspective in the center. Bring things to the table. Bring something different. Yeah, bring something different. My choice, my power. I think what you put in the center is really the most important. So. And I did it without even... Not even knowing. Not even knowing. I'm gonna have to finish mine another time. <laughs> this is what I have so far. I like my boards to be colorful because I'm very colorful. And I feel like I have a lot of words. Isn't this cool? I have a lot of words right now. I do have this beautiful bald head that I really wanna make happen by my birthday. But I need some I need some color. It's February 12th. A few weeks after I started my vision board, these are not glued down, but this is what I have so far. I've been super busy traveling all over the place, so I haven't been able to finish, but I have some time tonight. Huey is traveling for work, Ava's sleeping. I don't really have the brain capacity to work right now, so I'm gonna finish this because I don't want to go into next month and not have this done for the year not giving a good message to the universe so let's see what i can find i just realized how much more difficult it is for me to do my vision board this year because i'm so much more aware of how things happen or rather what happens after you intend for something to manifest so i looked at this and i'm like hmm i don't really want to cut this out like it's nice and it's maybe most people would cut this out and put this on their vision board you have to be gentle and patient with yourself which is yes something that i always want to do but me putting this on my vision board would probably manifest difficult situations for me in which i will need to be gentle and patient with myself understand so i'm being very difficult with myself when it comes to cutting things out and trying to be really self-aware about what goes on my board because i only want it to be um positive things that are going to manifest in positive situations for me okay it's been a little over two hours and i'm actually not satisfied at how wordy this is i feel like some stuff is repetitive and i don't like my picture you gotta have a picture of you in the center and i'm not really feeling this i love this you know that that's me but i don't know i was still in a period of growth here so i don't want to project that that's where I want to be again. I mean, in a period of difficult growth. So I'm probably gonna print out a picture tomorrow and then glue these down and see what else I find because not happy with it yet. Finally putting this thing together. It's February 21st. I know, super late, but better late than never. Let's go through it. So I kept most of my business stuff and financial stuff up here. Unintentionally, it kind of just fit that way, but some people do separate their board into different sections. So this says, go big, I have keep motivating, I have do the hardest thing on your to-do list now. I have advisory board because I definitely want to get into some type of consulting or some type of board or team where I can share my ideas. I have Watch Your Business Grow. I have, it was a year for the books, but I didn't like the book title, so I just put respect on it. Um, I have Brighter Financial Future. I have If I Can Encourage Girls to Stay True to Themselves, then I've done a good job with a bunch of social media likes there because that's what I want likes on. I have Touch the World. Self-care Sunday every day. When your passion is world-renowned, you've made history. 
I have a bunch of words here. Creativity, humor, connection, honesty, compassion, justice, knowledge, passion, health, community, courage, kindness, patience, mindfulness. Definitely things that my business is about. And then I have a picture of myself in the center. And I have an all-seeing, protecting third eye right above me, right above my my uh right on my crown chakra i have i am connected to a universal supply of money this was something that i had to print out there wasn't anything money related besides the brighter financial future that i found in magazines so i actually got this from my pinterest printed it out and pasted it on my board so anything that i was missing like this was also missing i wanted some type of protection um and enlightenment aspect to my board i add this myself I have, this actually came from a magazine. They had a customized portion of like one of the magazines. I think it was L. It says, Dear Melanie, New Year, New You. Now you're beautiful as you are, which is cool. Then it goes into like a kind of like personal section here. So let's go through it. It says, Share your voice. And I added a little microphone there because I want to do a lot of speaking engagements this year. Um, to be reckoned with because I am a force to be reckoned with. I have everything is illuminated, which is very significant of the symbol that I use throughout my branding. You guys know that I always use a light bulb uh, to signify the fact that I am connected to everything that I need, everything that I want connected to abundance. And then I actually found everything is illuminated, so I pasted that right on. I have this flower and I put it right on my heart chakra uh, to symbolize that I am always surrounded by and... Um, giving off love I have turning 30 and I have this bald head because I want to shave my head <laughs> I want to shave my head by my 30th birthday um, so this is like a goal a personal goal that I have I have happy because yeah that's what we want um, ignite brilliance right below the light bulb because duh then I have this island feature here because I definitely want to travel a lot um, as much as possible, as much as life allows me to. I always have some type of travel feature and I don't know why, but I usually keep it in this section of my board. Um, I have a little meditating human being right here. I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but it doesn't really matter. And I found I start my day by meditating, which is great. And then I just pasted sweet life right above it because it made sense. So kind of the same themes and topics throughout but i really love this board i thought i wasn't gonna love any other board any board as much as i love last year's board but i really love this board now i'm gonna put it in a frame and i'm gonna put it on my shelf so that i see it every single day bye bye to my 2018 board which totally changed my life if you want to watch a video on where I describe my biggest manifestations and biggest changes that happened in 2018, I'm going to link it here and in the description box so you can check it out. But this board was so powerful. So I'm going to do something that I did with this board. I'm going to do with this board just to make sure that everything manifests in its divine time. I give thanks to the universe for all of these vision board intentions manifesting in divine time and absolute perfect alignment with my highest good and the highest good of all involved. So it is. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up below. If you want to see how and if everything manifests in 2019 and you want to keep tabs with what's going on, definitely click the subscribe button and click the little bell so you can be notified about new videos because I'm definitely going to be updating you on everything that goes on in my highlights videos and any other content that I share with you guys. Everything that you need to create your own vision board will be linked below. You don't have to do it at the beginning of the year. You can start anytime. Anytime that you start to take the universe seriously, the universe will start to take you seriously. So good luck. Love you.